America first fell in love with Annette Funicello when she donned a pair of Mickey Mouse ears for the Mickey Mouse Club, and then later as a teen heartthrob in a series of beach movies with Frankie Avalon. Annette Funicello was the original Disney girl, the original Mickey Mouse Club girl, before Hannah Montana, before Britney Spears, before Christina Aguilera. She was America's sweetheart. Annette Funicello was born on October 22, 1942, in Utica, New York. She grew up in Los Angeles, California, and at age 13 was selected by Walt Disney himself to be one of the original Mouseketeers in his new show, The Mickey Mouse Club, in 1955. Annette was the last of the 24 Mouseketeers cast, and for whatever reason, she became the signature Mouseketeer. Annette's squeaky clean image was part of the reason she became the most popular Mouseketeer. She never had any bad press. She was always dressed appropriately, and she was never over-sexualized. At the height of her popularity, Annette Funicello was getting 6,000 or more letters a week. This was before social media. This is before Twitter and Instagram and all that. She was the original teen dream that girls looked up to and that boys loved. Soon known as America's Girl Next Door, the wildly popular Annette remained with Disney after leaving the Mickey Mouse Club. She gets a contract offer from Walt Disney, who wanted her to call him Uncle Walt. She couldn't do it. She could only call him Mr. Disney. And for Disney, she made Zorro, the TV show. And then she made The Shaggy Dog with Fred McMurray. She made Babes in Toyland. She made The Misadventures of Merlin Jones. In the 1960s, she teamed with teen idol Frankie Avalon to star in a series of wildly popular beach movies. When Annette Funicello was first offered the role in the beach movies, she went to Walt Disney to ask him about whether she should do that or not, and he said it was okay as long as she wore very modest bathing suits that didn't show her navel. In point of fact, virtually every one of the movies had her in bikinis, which were big bikinis, but nevertheless did expose her navel. The American teen dream was personified by these movies. What teen didn't want a life like that? Having a cute boyfriend like Frankie Avalon, you spend every day doing clam bakes. In addition to acting, Annette Finicello had a very successful singing career. Although she was shy about her vocals, she had a lot of top 40 hits such as Tall Paul, Pineapple Princess, and How Will I Know. Annette Funicello married twice, first in 1965 to her agent Jack Gillardi, with whom she had three children, and then in 1981 to Glenn Holt. In 1992, Annette announced she had multiple sclerosis, but she had learned she had the disease in 1987. She kept it quiet for five years. She didn't want a big fuss made. She thought it was private, but by 92, she was a little unsteady on her feet, and she was very concerned that people would think that she was drunk in public, so she made the announcement. She established the Annette Finicello Research Fund for Neurological Disorders, which is still active today. Annette Funicello died on April 8, 2013, at the age of 70. Annette Funicello was so many different things to so many different people. It's very easy to remember her as a Mouseketeer. But then that leaves out that she was this great beach beauty, maybe the first beach beauty. And then that leaves out that she carried herself with such dignity later in her life as a spokesperson for people with MS. I think Annette Funicello will always be remembered as the ultimate Disney princess. We've had Miley and Selena and Brittany and Christina, but Annette was the original.